Hey Year 3, happy Thursday and welcome back to our next online learning English lesson where we are going to be continue to be writing the true story of the three little pigs. So I'm going to share my screen and share our starter for today. And our starter for today is a um, grammar and punctuation focus. So you might want to think about which conjunction would you use in this sentence? And there is a bit of an example of ones you could use. So Harry had his tea, mm, he went to the skate park. Harry had his tea while he went to the skate park. Harry had his tea before he went, because he went or when he went. You might have some other ideas as well. For a bit of a challenge X, what you might want to do is think about the conjunction that fits in here and then think about putting the other conjunction in, into their own sentence to make them make sense as well. So it's completely up to you how you do that. Okay, we're going to be continuing with our hot task today. We are going to be looking at the problem of the story. So we're going to have your character going to the second house. Um, they're going to knock on the door, they're going to ask for some sugar or some chocolate or whatever it is that they are looking for. Um, he's going to tell him to go away because he's busy. He's going to sneeze, doesn't mean to kill him, but eats him anyway, but he still needs the ingredients. So you're doing the second character's house here. Um, and again, as always, thinking about the different features that you might have within your text. So thinking about adjectives to describe, thinking about interesting verbs, get them all in there. It's very easy to be able to get most of these in throughout the story. Think about what ones you didn't include yesterday, which ones did you include today? What I am going to ask you to do is just look back over your work that you've been doing. Does it flow quite nicely? Are there gaps? Is it suddenly, oh, we ate him and then suddenly he's at the next house. Well, how did he get to the next house? Um, and things like that. So start thinking about sort of linking your story together. It is great to see all your amazing ideas come together. Um, but we are on to the next problem now. Get a bit of speech in there. Um, we kind of have that bit where they can talk back and forward don't they they knock on the door no response the little pig replied or whatever that might be think about um using your word mat if i move this out the way you'll be able to see it and i will attach this if you're on our teams group i will attach this as well so you can use this throughout your writing i can't wait to see the next parts of your stories as always don't forget our always success criteria capital letters full stops letter formation um presentation thinking about um, not just capital letters of all sorts, maybe a comma, inverted commas, things like that. Things are those basic um, handwriting, basic writing elements that we always talk about. Please don't forget those just because you are at home. I still expect to see them. I can't wait to see them as I've said already, and I will speak to you soon. Bye.